Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pine TV. I'm Mario Sign. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. May now be seated. Today is Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready to take a brain break. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Vani. Sports fans, French soccer star Kylian Mbappe reached a checkpoint 200 career goals, starting his year off great. The 24-year-old successor reached his goal in the last 16 minutes of a game against Vaines last week. This idol was rumored for a long time to be leaving PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, but finally confirmed this week that he will be extending his time for at least another year much to the delight of his teammates and PSG fans. Guess we will be seeing this soccer star for another superstar year. Now let's go to Angelie for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, hamburger bun, mixed vegetables, fresh banana, mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Angelie. Our March Already Challenge is on now and ends on March 16th. Students must have 25 math and reading I ready lessons to go to our glow party. Let's get our lessons done and glow crazy for this next challenge. I can't wait. The Hero Store is now open. The store is open from 7.30 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. And it's in room 114. Have a look at this schedule to see when you will be able to attend. I can't wait to see what they have. Tomorrow, only 7th and 8th graders can go to the Hero Store. So let's get those Hero Points saved up. Scholars, the iReady assessments are here. Today is 3rd and 8th grade's math, and tomorrow is kindergarten to 2nd grade math. Take a look at the flyer for more upcoming dates. Make sure to use your test-taking strategies. Our Pines Patriots car wash is coming up soon. It's on Saturday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It costs just $10 per car wash. Tickets are sold on myschoolbucks.com. This event will be a great help to our school's athletes. Hope to see you there. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Vonnie. Hey, Patriots. Looks like today's weather is 73 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies ahead. We're also having a slight breeze. So if you like a little wind, then go take a walk. In other weather news, an iconic arch crumbled in storms. This iconic arch sat on a bluff, but it unexpectedly collapsed in pounding surf. It stood for an amazing 500 years. Even though this storm destroyed our beloved landmark, note that there is plenty more to admire. Now let's go to Sonia and Malik to explore the scientific method. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to our science segment. This is our scientific space. Hey, Sonia. Yeah? I heard that tissue can stop water from flowing out of a bottle. What? There's no way that can work. Maybe we should try to test it? Like an experiment. Yeah. Remember, Sonia, always make sure that when you do experiments, you have to have the right space and protective equipment to do it. Let's go about this using the scientific method. This includes having a question, doing research, making a hypothesis, actually doing the experiment, looking at your data, and drawing a conclusion. Well, that's a lot. Don't worry, we can explain it while we go. First off, we have our question. 
Cut a piece of tissue to stop water from flowing out of the bottle. Okay, what's next? Now it's time for our research. It's important to look at what you are doing to see if it helps you with your experiment to make sense or if it helps you conduct the experiment. When I first heard it, I did some research myself. I found out about adhesion. This happens when the water particles attach to non-water particles and stick together. I'm still not sure how to really work. Which leads us to our hypothesis. What? A hypothesis is making a smart guess based on what you already know. Oh. So, my hypothesis is, if I put a layer of tissue on a water bottle, then it will flow out because the tissue is thin. What if the hypothesis is incorrect? That's okay. That's why we're doing the experiment. To learn. Okay, what are we doing now? Now for the fun part, the actual experiment. Let's gather our materials. We need a piece of tissue, a water bottle, extra water, and a bowl. Step one, get your materials. Step two, fill the water to the highest point. Get our extra water. So let's make a little dome on top. Step three, put some napkin on top of the bottle. Next step, rip the sides off of the napkin. Next, take the bowl and put it in front of you. Now, hover the water bottle over the bowl up and down and see if the experiment works. Oh, okay! Well, it worked. Next, it's to now we <laughs> didn't expect to work out there. You were. So, we did the experiment. Now what? Now, we look at our experiment and note the important parts. So, our important parts are, we took the water bottle, we covered it over, and it worked. The water was actually able to stay in what the tissue on it, which I didn't think would happen. Now, for our last step, the conclusion. This is where we sum up our experiment and find out whether or not your hypothesis was correct. So, our conclusion will be... If we put a piece of tissue on an overflowed water bottle, then the water will not fill out because the tissue connects to it and just doesn't fill out. Thank you, Sonia and Malik. That was Out of This World. Today's birthday boys and girls are Manuela Garcia, Justin Mara, Kanye Murphy, Malaysia Roberts, and Kai Robinson. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Valencia. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Cavalita, Miss Only, Miss June, and Miss Newton. You got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, In the movie Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, what kind of creature is Buckbeak? The correct answer is a hippogriff. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the hardest natural substance in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!